The next one that we read was from Psalm 32. Uh, by the way, all these songs are, are going to relate to a single topic, and the topic is joy. You want joy, you silence the avenger. You silence the devil in your life. Uh, sometimes you have to confess. Psalm 32 was written by King David. He committed adultery. He committed murder. And then he realized his sin. But before that, uh, the scripture says, When I kept silent, my bones wasted away from my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. That's what guilt will do. We, 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 we sometimes talk badly about someone behind their back. We don't do the things that we should do in our families, uh, among our friends. And that brings guilt to us. But guilt usually turns into two different things. Guilt usually, usually we don't run around feeling guilty because that feels too bad. So we change it into two other emotions. And one is depression. We get all depressed and discouraged. Yeah, I am no good. Or we get angry and we blame somebody or something for the things that are going around us. When my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer, it takes all the strength out of you. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, and I did not cover up my iniquity. It takes a lot of work to cover these things up. Then you forgave the guilt of my sin. My bones wasted away Ooh, My groaning all day long For day and night Your hand was heavy upon me My strength was set As in the heat of
was uh, Psalm 51, uh, 10 and 12, create in me a pure heart. Once you've been forgiven, it's like God washes you clean, but then what? Create in me a pure heart, O God, renew a steadfast spirit. Steadfast is being able to hang in there when things are hard. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me, again our theme this morning, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uh, let's sing it together. Hey, Paul. can't see. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it, it just doesn't work. <laughs> You're going to just have to take what you get. Steadfast within me, do not cast me from. 
right, at this time in our uh, service, we're going to have the My Bible presentation, so if parents could come on up. We have a new banner made for this. We're going to make some banners for all these uh, steps of faith, and this is the first one that we've done. Uh, it's my prayer journal and my Bible. We're doing my Bible this morning. That is a, a presentation by the parents for a child's first Bible or uh, the first one that they present in church Bible. I don't know. But uh, why don't you come on up? Schaefer? <laughs> we can just bring the mic to you. Okay, but no crying, okay? All right, we'll start right here. Eight years ago, you were baptized, and we chose a verse for you, and we are giving that to you once again today. The verse is Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will never leave you or forsake you. You do not, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. You are growing up to be a beautiful and happy young lady. You have such a joyful spirit that is full of music and song. You go into new situations with confidence and positive attitude. We pray you will always feel God's presence and you continue to grow with God in your life. Today we give you this Bible with the hope and prayer that you read it and find encouragement in the verses members of your families have underlined. We gave you this Bible a while ago, or actually I should say you kind of took it over and wanted it and, and showed quite a bit of interest in reading it, and we've been very proud of you and how you <laughs> stuck with that. Um, <clears throat> we've taken your Bible back for a little while and highlighted um, a few verses that were important to us in it and a few verses that we thought that uh, um, would be good for us to talk about. So as you go through it and you get to some of those, we'd like to encourage you to come to us and and ask us why we thought those were important and maybe give us your thoughts on it. And yeah. Um, so we've highlighted a few verses in your Bible for you to read through. Um, and the one that we chose for you was 1 Timothy 4, verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young and set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. We pray that you will be a Christian example to everyone you meet by doing what pleases God and not saying mean things. Do what is right and what, in that you will always pray and trust that God has a plan for you. Hey, Simone. She's been looking forward to this day. <laughs> Don't let her fool you, though. We thought that she was quiet and meek, and then we sent her to school, and our teachers say otherwise, just like her dad. I told her that we were going to talk about the story about when she was born, and she rolled her eyes, so I knew that that was the right thing to do. <laughs> um, it's been an integral part of uh, our family and our story. She was born two weeks early. Um, the doctor said that would be fine. Uh, it was for all, it seemed like a pretty easy uh, uh, birth. She came out, she's beautiful, looked just like me. Um, but she was having problems breathing. Every breath out came with a huh, huh. And uh, we found out that uh, a 
fluid around her lungs, hadn't developed yet, and they were a little brittle. They were hard. She wasn't able to sleep. She wasn't able to eat. Um, and we were in a little town in the middle of nowhere, Kansas. So they loaded you up on a plane two hours after you were born and flew you down to Wichita. And uh, I stayed with your mom. And, uh, but God's hand was a part of all that um, because the medicines that she took, she was able to leave. As soon as you left, we were able to get down there just a couple hours after you. And by the time that we were down there, as I tried not to speed, um, and we were praying uh, that just God would be with you. And when we were there, you were healed. Um, and uh, we still had a little bit of a journey down there, but uh, God was with you before you were born, and God was certainly with you in that first week of life, and we got to witness that. Um, and your verse uh, speaks a little bit about that as well. Psalm 71, 6 through 8. From birth... I have relied on you. This is you talking to God. From birth, I have relied on you. You've brought me forth from my mother's womb, from her belly. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. So you have already become a sign to many about um, God and how he can heal. And he is there even in difficult times. And you're that sign to your mom and I. Yeah. And um, so now we, we see how you've grown in these eight years. And we didn't know those eight years ago when you came early for us. Um, but it would happen. But yeah, we, uh, you've been assigned to us as you've grown. Um, or your nickname that we have for you now is Mama Moni because you're so caring um, and loving. And um, we just hope that you continue to tell your story, as we've told you, to be able to show that God is our refuge um, and our strength and that he's with us through everything. Right, we also have my prayer journal. This is what uh, children get when they graduate from Little Lambs or... Little lambs or children something? Little lambs. All right. Is Liliana Cologne here? What? Kylie? AJ Hendricks? And Alma St. Pierre? St. Pierre? Okay, we got one. <laughs> yeah, but AJ, okay, perfect, there he is, you know, I wouldn't want to come up here either, I didn't want to this morning, but my wife made me, so here I am, all right, I want to give you this, and I want to give you this. And inside are little things that you can do. You can color. Uh, there's learning your letters. There's a little verse. And there's a little prayer thing. And there's a little reminder thing. Things like brush your teeth. Put your clothes on when you get up in the morning. And that's for the parents. Yeah. Yeah. Did you want to say anything? Am I supposed to say something? I want to thank God, my family. Kylie. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you've graduated. Uh, start walking with God, and then we'll see you later when you get your Bible up front. All right. In lieu of the children's children coming up here, we're going to sing what has become sort of a children's song, Psalm 100. Once again, about praise, giving thanks. Uh, it's very difficult to be grumpy when you're giving thanks. So if you're in a bad mood, just start giving thanks for things and see what happens. All right, why don't we stand for this one?
All right. It's a joyful noise. There you go. You know, any noise can be joyful. All right, you may be seated, and we'll have our prayer at this time. I don't know who's doing the prayer. Tim. There we go. And at the end of the prayer, Tim, we're going to sing. Uh, well, you're <laughs> up here. you got to do it. Psalm 100.